It's no secret that I, along with the Hoover family, lawyers and friends are fighting hard for Larry Hoover's freedom that the First Step Act law says he deserves. Meanwhile, this dude Wack and Karen Chapman has taken a position to work against the Hoover family by trying to monetize off his name and withhold footage that could contribute to his freedom. So if it's one thing this whack dude is telling the truth about is that I don't fuck with him. When I was in LA talking to this lying ass nigga, never once did he take the position he was partners in the theft of the Hoover families like he's doing on that rehearsed conversation with them clowns. Now, what he is not telling the truth about is why. So listen up. There's a woman by the name of Karen Chapman that was entrusted by the Hoover family to interview Larry Hoover with the understanding of bringing the interview back to the family. She decided to run off with the interview and a fake fraud contract claiming Larry Hoover signed all his rights away for nothing. Larry Hoover is far from being a dummy, so for Wack and Karen to be taking a position on disrespecting the Hoover family by attempting to sell Larry Hoover likeness without the family permission is a mistake for whomever considering buying it. I've been around a long time, and I know when someone is trying to set me up with police conversations. So I won't lip wrestle with you cake ass niggas on Clubhouse. But I tell you what, I don't know if you were violated on the block or what, but all that snake jealousy and hate shit you have in your heart niggas, bring that shit to Dr. Prince and I'm gonna cure you of that disease. Let me say this to the homies in LA and around the world, all money, is not good money. And a nigga that will kiss a rat in the mouth for any amount of money is capable of anything, like sending you on a suicide mission to laugh at you. Read the wisdom between the lines and don't follow this clown off a cliff. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Buzz it. Yo, shit is crazy. So, Jay Prince spawns the whack 100. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Like, ain't no chilling message. It's just a real message. Like, the homie J Prince ain't playing. See, people need to understand. Like, Wack 100, he could talk all that, that tough talk to niggas on Clubhouse. But when you start talking that shit to a nigga like Japes, yeah, you gotta fall back. Harry O should have hollered at him and told him, yo, ease up on, on Lil' J. Lil' J, that nigga. And uh, Lil' J basically, you know, said whack playing police games, man. Straight up and down. Saying that he out here tongue quick. <laughs> yo, the stuff that <laughs> Jay Prince was saying in the video was, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. But, you know, Jay Prince, man, people got to see it. Jay Prince been in the game since the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. You know, and when they talk about Lil' J, Lil' J that dude. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know his story. You know what I'm saying? Like, his story is a legendary story. You know what I'm saying? Harry O, Suge Knight, Waterhead Bo, Larry Hoover. You name all the gangsters. Supreme. Chaz, you name all the gangsters. All the gangsters you want to name from every coach done roll with Lil' J. Lil' J is really monetized for real. 
it's not no it's not no game with him. This is a dude that been in under investigation by the ATF, DEA, FBI. You know what I'm saying? Dude that had a stronghold in the boxing thing and had had Bob Arum and them dudes scared. You know what I'm saying? Uh, official Jay Prince. Is. You know what I'm saying? You know, Eric B is another one. You know what I'm saying? This dude's like Eric B, Suge Knight, you know, Jay Prince. These are dudes, man, that was really them them dudes in the music industry, man. And them dudes run up on you is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> They want to have a conversation with you on some mobster shit. These black mobsters. You know what I'm saying? So, why doing what he did wasn't a good look. You know what I'm saying? Because now, you barking up the wrong tree. You you, you want to start up with Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? I think when he started talking that Larry Hoover talk, he should have just, shh. You know what I'm saying? Bad enough, you, you talking heavy about Big U. Bad enough. But now you... You want to talk heavy about Larry Hoover? You want to talk he heavy about Jay Prince? I don't think you want to go there. I don't think you want to go there because you talking about a dude that's, you know, official. They got a whole nation behind him. And then you talking about Jay Prince? A dude that got a whole bunch of real live gangsters around him from all coasts? You ain't got that Jay Prince reach? You know, so you gotta understand, you know, Black 100 is like what homie said. You know, he is, you know, he, he, he's not no, no industry. He's an industry. He's a goon for the industry. Let's get this clear. But he ain't no, no Shug Knight J. Prince type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? He, he tough with the industry because he, he, he the industry dude. He the, he the blackmailer. You know what I'm saying? They need him. You want to blackmail somebody, he going to blackmail. But if you really look at Wack and you look at his 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 portfolio, he ain't no nigga. He's an extortionist and a blackmailer. You know what I'm saying? And now he got Jay Prince uptight and man. Jay Prince ain't playing. You 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 barking up the wrong tree. You you, you definitely you wanna start up with Jay Prince. Jay Prince, you know Jay Prince don't be, you know. <laughs> He don't be, he always tell niggas, he don't lip wrestle. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he the type of nigga that's going, that it's, he going to make it hard for you when you come in his city. You know what I'm saying? He just got that type of pull. You know, you heard the stories about Tony Draper, Master P. You heard the stories. If you ain't hear the stories, go look up the stories, man. You heard what happened with his issues with, with what happened with Master P with the whole Pimp C situation. Okay. You heard what happened with the whole Tony Draper situation and many other situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jay Prince is that dude. You know, when it comes to the South, he's that dude. When he talks, when he speaks, you listen. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of niggas, like, I ain't gonna front. I respect the niggas that, that, you know, they carry it the way they carry it. They don't, they don't understand. They don't know who Jay Prince is, so they, they come from a different era. The niggas that come from the 80s era or, 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 or a little bit after that 90s era, yeah, they know who that dude is and they don't play with him. You know what I'm saying? Just like when Yayo, Yayo was on um, Vlad, he talked about Prem. Like, when you look at Prem, Prem was was a fed man a lot of grown men. But nigg, young niggas coming up, they don't be like, Yo, who the fuck is Prem? You know what I'm saying? Whack, grown nigga he is, you playing with a nigga that got... A lot of niggas under pressure. Jay Prince got a lot of niggas under pressure, B. You know what I'm saying? Like, you saw what he did to the NBA young boy. And young boy ain't give a fuck. You saw what he told that nigga, yo, come get your keys. This type of nigga you 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 you, you want to go to war with? I don't think you want to do that. I think you want to chill. Because <clears throat> he just he just a type of dude, man. Jay Prince the type of dude, man. He he got money and he got soldiers. And it's mob ties for real, because he connected. Let's keep it real. So it is what it is. It's your boy Bullets Gotti. You already know what it is, man. Salute.